Hey there, everybody. This is Dr. Matt Josie at Josie Family Orthodontics. I wanted to share this case with you because I think that this is a great illustration of probably the number one health benefit from orthodontic treatment. This is a benefit that we get in almost all of our patients. This is one of the most common things that I see in consultation, and it's one of the most common things that we can fix uh, in terms of making the bite healthier. And most people have no idea about this. They think about straight teeth, and they don't think about this one thing. So let me introduce you to Tanaja. Um, she's one of my awesome patients. This is how she came in. Tanaja was looking for a nicer smile and less overbite. Okay, those were the two things that she wanted. You can see that uh, her four front teeth kind of stick out a little bit. And the next, like not the front two, but the next two, the lateral incisors are almost like covering up her canine teeth. You almost can't really see them uh, when she's smiling. So um, this is a close up of her teeth. You can see that there's some misalignment of the upper front teeth. What I want to call your attention to, though, is, is how much these upper front teeth overlap in a vertical way, these lower front teeth. So you can't even hardly see this one lower front tooth right here, and you'll see why in just a moment. And you can only see, um, you know, maybe less than half of this one and less than half of this one. And maybe if you count this section right here, you can see maybe three quarters of this, this tooth right here. But there's a lot of overlap between the upper and the lower front teeth. Here's a picture of the lower front teeth. The reason why you couldn't see much of that one lower front tooth is because it's set back from all the others. So we have some lower crowding. These are the upper teeth. Again, you can see the positions of those lateral incisors out in front of the canine teeth. Kind of a little bit of a narrow arch here uh, as well. So, And then this is an up close of just the lower front teeth. And I want to call your attention to these lower four front teeth, how they stand up higher than everything else in this picture. And they, in particular, these four lower incisors stand up higher than the lower canine teeth. And this is part of the reason why uh, there's so much overlap between the upper and the lower front teeth. It's because these lower front teeth are up higher than they really belong. And the consequence of them being up higher and there being excessive overlap of the upper and lower front teeth is that these teeth are getting worn down. So I know that you may not watch a whole lot of YouTube videos of, of teeth, but you know, this tooth right here is already sheared off right here. It's sheared off right here. This one is all flattened out. This one is flattened out and sheared off. This one has uh, evidence of being sheared off here and here. So all four of these lower incisors are already significantly damaged. And Tanaja in, the, in this photo or in this image is only 19 years old. So she's only had these lower incisors in her mouth for maybe 12 years, um, maybe 13 years at the most. And at 19 years old, we want her to have these teeth for the rest of her life. We want these to be good, healthy teeth. Well, at, after 12 years of having these in her mouth, they're already significantly damaged, significantly worn down. The next step after being worn down is that they'll start breaking down and chipping. And so um, this is something that we call a deep bite. It's a uh, deep bite just indicates that the upper and the lower front teeth overlap excessively. But the consequences of deep bites and I talk about this in other videos, but I've just never really highlighted it um, as well as I am right now, is that these lower front teeth really get beaten up. They're taking too much of the bite forces uh, of the bite. They really should not be taking heavy bite forces. Heavy bite forces belong on back teeth where uh, food gets chewed up uh, to go down the hatch to be digested. The front teeth are intended to just cut through food. And so when they are up like this, they're getting too much bite forces. They're getting worn down. And the next steps here is... is chipping and breaking down. And let me tell you, uh, when you have an adult patient with really broken down lower front teeth, there are not many good options. In fact, most of the options start with orthodontics, and then you have to worry about trying to fix those lower front teeth as well. So when we see young patients, and I still count Tanaja as young at 19, you know, this is one of the main things that we want to try to fix. So let me show you what happened in her treatment. Uh, we used Invisalign to treat her. Uh, we got some lower a uh, great lower alignment. So that one tooth that was set back is now pushed forward. I put a lower uh, lingual retainer in to help hold that tooth forward and to help maintain some of the changes that we made. Uh, these are the upper teeth. You can see that they're nice and straight. We don't have those lateral incisors uh, overlapping those canines quite as much and a little bit of a wider arch form as well. So um, here's a close up of Tanaja's teeth. You can see how much more of these lower incisors we can see, right? There's a way less overlap of the upper and lower incisors. Here's Tanaja smiling, um, got a nice looking smile. We're really happy about that. And uh, kind of the difference in her smile, um, which may, may seem subtle to a lot of you, but um, I really like the changes here. Been a little bit wider smile, 
definitely better alignment of the front teeth. You can see those canines. You don't have that awkward transition from the second tooth to the third tooth uh, anymore. Um, the lower, here's the change from the start to the finish. You can see nice, straight, lower incisors and nice, straight, upper incisors as well. But here is the big change. All right, again, look how much less overlap we have of the upper and the lower front teeth from when we start to when we finish. We can see at least three quarters of these lower front teeth, which is exactly what we want. And how did we achieve that? We took these lower front teeth and we moved them down. They are now all down and down below the level of the canines. Even the canine teeth have come down relative to the, the level of all the back teeth. And so significant bite changes with the lower anterior teeth in a vertical way. And this provides a lot of protection for her teeth to not take the same bite forces that, that, that they were receiving and to give her teeth protection for the rest of her life. So we call this deep bite correction. And I would say it is the most common thing that we do to, uh, to make healthy bites. It occurs in many, many, many of our orthodontic cases. So if you feel like you have uh, chipping or broken down or worn down lower front teeth, this might be the root cause of it. And good news, we can help with orthodontic treatment. We can do that with braces. We can do that with Invisalign and get you great results like Tanaja. Thanks so much for listening.